So check this out, man. I know a lot of y'all wondering when you gonna start putting some interviews back up there. I have several ones, and I'm gonna put up. It's just that I've been so booked and I've been so busy, man. And plus, it takes a while for me to upload on YouTube when it comes to editing and all that stuff. So I'm gonna have some interviews up there. Pretty, I'm gonna have some up there starting this weekend, as a matter of fact. And plus, I've been busy. I've been also trying to put a tour schedule together with the big homie Fleetwood and the Cotton Pickers. So basically, bear with me. And also, still knocking out other interviews on the side. But what me want to do this video here is let me be the first to say that I like and I respect Dr. Boyce Watkins. He's one of the, the biggest influencers that we need in black media right now. I like the content that he's bringing to the table. I like that he's focusing on topics that talk about manhood, that talk about the black community, that's not doing a bunch of shenanigans and pandering. I like the fact that he brings a serious tone to what black people need to do in terms of bringing the black foundation back together. But, and then with this situation with Kwame Brown, I feel that Charlemagne had a pull, had a pull in that. So you got to understand, this game is very sneaky. It's very sneaky and conniving. And Kwame caught wind of that. Because, see, Charlemagne apologized. So, therefore, he wouldn't look right going back at him, despite the fact that Kwame was going to keep going at him. So what does he do? He gives Boyce a holler like, look, man, send out a dog whistle to probably get his channel a passive aggressive way of getting his channel flagged. So then Boyce comes out here and he does a video, titles it. Hold on one second. And you can't tell me that this was a pure obvious. He did a video saying, warning, Kwame Brown may be may get silenced. Here's why. Now, that right there is sending a dog whistle to people who want to get his channel flagged, just like what's happening with Tariq Nasheed, just like it's happened to Jason Black, just like it's happened to Vicky Dillard. You see, he's, he's subconsciously sending a dog whistle to people, giving them ammunition to come after him. And, and at the same time, he's playing the role like he's trying to look out for him. But in reality, it looks like a, a bid in Charlemagne's doing because he said many times that Charlemagne's is his friend. Or he has no problem with him. So that had my antennas raised up a little bit more. And, man, Kwame, shoot, he went at him, man. Who ever thought that in 2021, Kwame Brown would be the hottest nigga on the net? I ain't never would thought I'd see today. It's a strange era that we living in, but... He's provided some great content, some great entertainment. I hope he keeps the he keeps the energy up, keeps his message getting across. Because just like I said, we need balancing media, man. So let me know what you guys think. Was Boyce Walk is out of line? Let me know how.